Hello and welcome to a new tutorial for NPC Chat. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use NPC Chat with Lip Sync Pro and Timeline to create dialogue sequences that can be used as cutscenes. This will allow you to easily create and control dialogue sequences with NPC Chat. Timeline is controlling this sequence through the use of NPC Chat tracks, which are used to trigger start, stop, or next page actions. The NPC chat component in the scene has dialogue pages configured with the text you see displayed, along with references to the Lip Sync Pro component attached to the animated model, and a Lip Sync data clip which contains the audio you hear being synced with the model's lip movement. Now that we know what we're doing, let's let Steven take over and show us how it's done. Hey, what's up? So we just listened to Aria explain and demonstrate while we were watching a timeline clip about some of the new features with NPC Chat version 2.0.1. The first one is what we're able to see right now, which is the usage of timeline to control NPC Chat pages. The other thing is the character's mouth movement, which is controlled by Lip Sync Pro, which is also controlled by NPC Chat and being triggered when the timeline pages are being triggered. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can build this up ourselves. So if we navigate over to the scene really Really quick let's see what's in here we have an environment object let's switch over to the scene view which is basically just this garage model and a bunch of props inside and take a look at the character model here we can see we have lip sync pro configured now I'm not going to go through this. There's a bunch of tutorials that are available for Lip Sync Pro to show you how to configure this for different use cases. My particular use case was for a Character Creator 3 model, which I created my own profile for. And if you're not familiar with what Lip Sync Pro does, it basically references a character model and it will control the skinned mesh renders blend shapes. The other thing that I've done custom here is I added a jaw controller script. For some reason, character creator three models always have their mouth open. The mouth still moves, but by default, since it's open, it moves in an exaggerated way that looks unrealistic. So I wrote this script to control the jawbone rotation based on the current mouth open blend shape value. Really what we're doing here is we're going to control Lip Sync Pro by passing in some Lip Sync clips, which will be played from this audio source. And that's what Lip Sync Pro does. Next, we have a simple camera in the scene, nothing special. We also have the timeline object, which we looked at earlier. And we have an NPC chat object, which is configured with six pages of chat, as well as references to the Lip Sync data and the character model in the scene. We have lip sync data for each of the different pages. And then we also have a reference to a chat box. So all of the chat boxes are pretty basic. The only thing that I've done to customize them is change their shape. If you don't see lip sync data and lip sync fields, you'll need to go to edit project settings, then select player and scroll down until you find the scripting define symbols. Here you'll add NPC chat underscore lip sync pro. And if you have multiple defines, or if there's one already defined, make sure you separate them with a semicolon. Once that scripting define symbol is set up, you should be able to see the lip sync data and lip sync field. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to delete the NPC chat and in our timeline, I'll remove all of these clips and show you how I set them up. I'll also remove the NPC chat track. So the first thing I'll do is create an NPC chat object. I'll create an empty object and I'll call it NPC chat. Next, I'll select add component and type in NPC chat. Under the options field, the only value that I changed was the text scroll speed. I set that at four to match the speech. Next, I set the number of pages to six and press update. Now we have six pages. From here, I'll copy in all of the text for each page. And notice with each of these pages that the line ends. That way there's not a run on sentence where it continues to be typed before it is cut off and then placed on the next line. So as you enter your page text, make sure you're aware of that in your testing. And that's how you'll create nice clean text. Finally, we'll assign a chat box for each of these pages. Next, we'll assign the lip sync data for each of these pages, as well as the lip sync component reference that's attached to the character model.
And now that NPC chat is fully configured, we can go ahead and select the timeline object. And in the timeline view, we can right click on the left hand side and select turn the game on dot NPC chat and PC chat track. From here, we can assign our new NPC chat component to be played. And to the right of that in the timeline area, we can right click and select add NPC chat clip. If we take a look at the clip, we can see we have an action field. So we can start conversation, go to the next page or stop the conversation. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just leave it at its default start conversation option. We wanna set the duration of this clip. And to find that value, we can check our lip sync data. This clip's length is 3.76. And then I'll add another NPC chat clip. This one will be for the next page. We'll take a look at tutorial page two, and that's 9.79. .9. Then I can move that so it's next to the first page. With this clip selected, I can press Control D to duplicate it, and I'll do that for each of the pages. Now I have six NPC chat clips to start each of the pages. The first one starts the conversation on the NPC chat component, which will be page one. And then the second one will go to the next page, which is page two. And then all of them are configured for the next page because we duplicated from the second one. And the last thing that we'll do is set the duration for the other four pages. So for tutorial page three, this one is 6.17. Page four is 8.45. Page five is 16.11. And page six is 5.81. And the last thing I'll do is just move these over a little bit. We have each of them a little bit of space in between. And finally, I will right click and add one more NPC chat clip. And this one will be stop conversation. All right, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I'll click maximize on play and press play. Hello, and welcome to a new tutorial for NPC chat. I forgot to put the NPC's name in, so let's go ahead and do that. So her name's Aria. Put that in page one and copy it. And paste it into each of the other pages. Okay, and save the scene, and we'll try once more. Hello and welcome to a new tutorial for NPC Chat. In this video, We'll demonstrate how to use NPC Chat with Lip Sync Pro and Timeline to create dialogue sequences that can be used as cutscenes. This will allow you to easily create and control dialogue sequences with NPC Chat. Timeline is controlling this sequence through the use of NPC Chat tracks, which are used to trigger start, stop, or next page actions. The NPC chat component in the scene has dialogue pages configured with the text you see displayed, along with references to the Lip Sync Pro component attached to the animated model, and a Lip Sync data clip which contains the audio you hear being synced with the model's lip movement. Now that we know what we're doing, let's let Steven take over and show us how it's done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any feedback, I would love to hear it. I'll see you in the next video.